In this episode, we have a look at two minis. One a classic 1978 Clubman, the other a new shaped mini Cooper Air. Melbourne, Australia, it's a trendy cosmopolitan city. Today, drivers are looking more and more at motoring alternatives. The Mini has become a motoring icon. The original design stayed in production almost unchanged for over 40 years and sold millions worldwide. Many people have now restored classic Minis to suit their personal tastes. This example is a 1978 Mini Clubman. The owners restored the vehicle and made some tasteful modifications. I think over the 40 years that the Mini has been around, uh, 45 years, um, almost everyone has owned a Mini. Uh, everyone has a story about how, the, how their parents had a Mini and how they grew up in a Mini or how they've been driven around in a Mini and um, had fun in a Mini. An icon in terms of design, it's um, simplicity, it, it's universal appeal, everyone loved a Mini. Uh, John Lennon owned a Mini. The Queen owned a Mini um, and they all customised them to their own taste. The Mini attracts a lot of attention. Uh, just daily um, I'm dri I drive around Melbourne a lot um, for work and uh, I'm constantly stopped at the lights and people winding down their windows and asking me questions and um, asking me how much it is and uh, you know how much I've spent on it and um, yeah a lot of people are really interested all the time. Even today the Mini looks tiny and is a complement to the original 1950s design. It's, it's really easy to find a park for the Mini in most um, situations. Uh, I can park, it, can park the Mini in between some pretty small gaps at times. Um, its turning circle can be difficult to get it into some tight spots but you know, forward, back, keep going, you'll eventually get the Mini in. Charlie has enjoyed good times driving his Mini but concedes how easy it is to get in trouble when you're having so much fun. I had an old dash in the Mini, the original dash, and it went up to 160. I managed to keep driving down the eastern at about 7,000 RPM on the taco, and the gauge was basically past the end of the, past the 160 down <laughs> to about six o'clock. Came to the end of the eastern at the Hoddle, Hoddle Street end, and um, the lights were red, had to stop the car and, well, had to stop at the lights and the engine just went butt up, butt up, butt up and didn't want to start up again. That was the first uh, engine rebuild that I needed to do. The majority of minis have a manual gearbox, uh, four speeds and reverse, um, in a standard sort of H pattern. There were some automatic automatics in the, um, I think in the late 60s they came about, but they weren't particularly um, popular due to the cost of repair and uh, just poor quality, low, low power. The paint job on my Mini is not standard. It was blue originally and uh, now it's a, a Scarlet O'Hara red with a white roof. Uh, a lot of people think that's the standard sort of Mini colours, um, but there were, were actually very few factory cars with those colours. I've customised the dash. It uh, definitely doesn't look like uh, an original Mini dash. and. Lots of hard work sanding away to get the shape. Behind each of the gauges, there's, there's a cluster of LEDs, red, green and blue, so I, you can actually dial in whatever colour you want the gauges to um, be lit up as. The Clubman is very balanced when driving quickly and you have a great sensation of the low ride height. It feels like riding a go-kart. At the traffic lights off the line, the Mini's uh, pretty quick. Um, the small wheels allow it to accelerate quite quickly and, and traction's not particularly a problem, whereas in a bigger muscle car, you know, your V8s and all this sort of thing, they, um, if they attempt to floor it off the lights, they're pretty much spinning their wheels instead of moving. So the Mini can, uh, can uh, yeah, can, can take some cars on at the lights and then, you know, past 60k, the other cars sort of overtake you, but then they're breaking the limit and, you know, I've proved my point, I guess. The Mini spawned a craze in automobilia, with many replica model Minis, toys, books and other fascinating spin-offs. I love this car, the Clubman is just so much fun.
Mini's become an icon because longevity of, of um, production, um, what it was, what it is, you know, it's always been a car that's been a sports car, it's always been a car that's been a road race car. It's gone from its inception of being just a small get around car to being developed into a, a race car that was used for generations around here in Melbourne from Winton and all the racing fraternity. Um, and then since then the regeneration of it has just been amazing. It's been great to see that they've actually taken parts of the original Mini and they've kept it and given it exactly what it had within its development of being a road race car and it still is. We've changed the exhaust system, we've replaced the pulley on the supercharger to give it a smaller pulley so that the supercharger will spin faster creating more boost. We've re-chipped the computer screen, change, uh, the computer, we've changed air cleaners, air filters and then basically the rest is all standard. If I was buying a Mini I probably wouldn't buy the customised one because of how it's been driven. The Mini's comfort across long distances, it's great. I found it a bit of a problem when I first bought the car um, on a long distance. It just, in your back, it just wasn't right and actually I had to have the leather interior rechanged on the car so I had the seats modified to suit to have lumbar supports fitted so that I didn't need a race seat if I went motor racing so I'd actually utilise the standard seat as well. So it's all modified. So for myself it's absolutely fantastic on a long trip. I say the boot's very big. Um, I use this for catering as well and once you put the rear seats down it's amazing how much you can get in the rear of the car. So anyone that says to me they didn't buy it because the boot was so small I actually laugh at them and bring them over to the car and I show them with the seats down how big it is. Um, you can still fit four adults in the car easily. So it's a great car. The new Mini looks brilliant in the showrooms. Wheel trim and other options display keenly. You have to marvel at those clean lines and congratulate the designers for taking a classic icon, redesigning, modernising and producing a masterpiece. Mark took me for a drive and boy is his Cooper S quick. The way the car grips to the road is quite amazing. Most importantly, this Mini is a lot of fun. I had a great time. <laughs>